हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ज्योमेट्री फॉर कैट सीरीज में टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स सो वी कैन कैटेगराइज टाइप ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स इन टू डिफरेंट वेज वन ऑफ देम बाय एंगल्स एंड अनदर वे इज बाय साइड लेंथ सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट एंगल्स देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स one of them is acute angle triangles and next is obtuse angle triangle and the last one is right angle triangle now what are the properties of these triangles so we can say any triangle where all the angles are less than 90 degree all the angles are less than 90 degree is known as acute angle triangle and any triangle where one of the angle is greater than 90 degree is known as obtuse angle triangle and in any triangle if one of the angle is equal to 90 degree then we call it right angle triangle now there is some relation between the sides of these triangles but that is for the next class if we talk about side lengths so again there are three different kind of triangles one of them is scalene triangle scalene triangle in scalene triangle if we talk about side lengths all the side lengths are of distinct length okay then comes isosceles triangles in isosceles triangles two of the side are of equal length a is equal to b and then comes equilateral triangle in equilateral triangle all the side lengths are of equal length now again there are some property some relation between these side lengths that we will talk in next videos but for now we are going to discuss questions on the basis of these concept only nothing else okay one thing at a time now let's move on to the question first question it is known that the measure of all angles of a triangle is integers if one of the angles of the triangle is 52 degree then how many such acute angle triangles are possible so let's say we have three different type of angles angle a angle b and angle c now it's given that one of the angle is 52 degree so let's say one of the angle is 52 degree that we have fixed then all three angles should be acute angle right so all the angles must be less than 90 degree so what will be the maximum possible value of any angle can we say it will be 89 degree now if we know that sum of all the three angles angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree if one of the angle is 52 degree then sum of rest of the two angles must be 132 degree not 132 degree 180 minus 52 degree this is equal to 128 degrees so if one of the angle is 89 so 128 degrees minus 89 degrees this will give us 39 degrees so if we take one of the angle is 89 degrees then the third angle angle c must be 39 degrees now similarly if we decrease it if we make it 88 this will become 40 degree and if we go further what we can say that there will be a time when both the angles are equal or closest to each other what will be that possibility so we know that sum of rest of the two angles must be equal to 128 degree and if we divide 128 by 2 we get 64 degree 
so this will be 64 degree and 64 degree before this there will be a situation where this angle will be 65 degrees and this angle will be 63 degrees now we don't need to go further Q if we make it 63 degrees, then this will become 65 degrees. So these two triangles will be same. So we don't need to go further. So what do we have? We have a triangle with angles 52 degrees, 89 degrees, 39 degrees. 52 degrees, 88 degrees, 40 degrees. So either we can calculate all the angles from 65 degree to 89 degrees that will give us the count or we can go from 39 degrees to 64 degrees that will also give us the count so 39 to 64 how many values are there can we say this will be 64 minus 39 plus 1 means 64 minus 38 that is equal to total 24 plus 3, 24 plus 2, it will be 26 distinct triangles. So, what's our answer? Our answer is option B. Okay. Now, similar question we can apply, but it says it is known that the major of all the angles of a triangle is integer. If one of the angles of the triangle is 52 degrees, then how many such obtuse angle triangles are possible? Pele acute tha, ab obtuse hai. Again, we can take that there are three angles, angle A, angle B and angle C. One of the angle is fixed, which is 52 degrees. Sum of rest of the two angles must be 128 degrees. Jis mein minimum jo hum le sakte hai, that will be 91 degree. Because any triangle is obtuse angle triangle if one of the angle is more than 90 degrees. So, the least value of obtuse angle will be 91 degree. So, next it will be 37 degree. Sum of these three angles is equal to 180 degree. So, 52 is constant. Where do we go? Next will be 32 degrees. This will be 36 degree. So, kaha tak ja sakte hai? Kya sari values hume one by one likhne ki zarurat hai? Nahi. Hum kya kar sakte hai? Ki ye value decrease ho rahi hai. So, this value is 1 degree, and if this is 1, this will be 127 degree. So, how many such triangles are there? 1 to 37. So, total 37 triangles are possible. So, what is our answer in this case? Our answer is option C, which is 37. Now, next question it says if the perimeter of a triangle with integer side length is 20 units, then find the possible number of such triangles. So, last video we have seen that in any triangle, if the relation between the sides is taken as A is greater than B is greater than equal to C, A is greater than equal to B, B is greater than equal to C, that makes A the greatest side and P is the perimeter. then we have a relation between perimeter and the greatest side of this triangle which is a will be greater than equal to p by 3 and less than p by 2 this is very very useful ab agar hum baat kare side lengths abc ki to dekhte hain kya kya possibilities banti hain to jo greatest value hogi kisi bhi side length ki Perimeter 20, 20 by 2 is 10, so greatest 9 hoga. If this is 9, sum of rest of the two sides must be 11. So we can go 9 and then 2. Then 9, 8 and 3. 9, 7 and 4. 9, 6 and 5. Per 9 li liya, uske baad kaun sa possible hai? 8. 8 liya, sum of rest of the two sides must be 12. So 8 and 4. Then comes 8, 7 and 5. Then comes 8, 6 and 6. Now what could be the next value of A? 
see a must be greater than equal to one third of the perimeter perimeter is 20 20 by 3 6.66 this usse bada to 7 hi ho sakta hai so this will be last value of a if this is 7 sum of the rest of the two sides must be 13 there is only one possibility which is 7 and 6 to kitne ho gaye 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight such triangles so this will be our answer for this question but is tarah ke questions mein kai baar aisa hota hai कि आपको पूछा जाता है कि कितने स्केलीन ट्रायंगल होंगे या कितने आइसोसेलस ट्रायंगल होंगे तो देखो आइसोसेलस ट्रायंगल कितने हो रहे हैं एक 992 दूसरा कौन सा हो रहा है दिस इज आइसोसेलस दिस विल बी स्केलीन दिस विल बी स्केलीन दिस विल बी स्केलीन दिस विल बी आइसोसेलस दिस इज स्केलीन दिस वन इज आइसोसेलस एंड दिस वन इज आल्सो आइसोसेलस सो स्केलीन इज वन Two, three, four. Four such triangles which are scalene. All three sides are of distinct length. If you talk about how many isocellus triangles will be there, then again answer is four. Char isocellus, char scalene. Equilateral is not possible hai nahi because perimeter is not a multiple of three. Achha, is tarah ke questions ko solve karne ke liye, ek direct formula bhi hum use kar sakte hai aur wo formula kya hai? कि पेरिमीटर इज पी एंड पी इज इवन द नंबर ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स विल बी पी स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर्टी एट जहां पे ये जो बॉक्स एक्स है वो डिनोट करता है नियरेस्ट ट्रायंगल नियरेस्ट इंटीजर इफ यू इफ यू पुट पी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी दिस विल बिकम फोर हंड्रेड बाय फोर्टी एट फोर हंड्रेड बाय फोर्टी एट कितना हो जाएगा so this is 16 into 3 this is 16 into 25 so this value will be exactly 8 है ना 8 आ गया तो 8 यहाँ पे आंसर है अगर फाइंड करना हो डायरेक्ट कि कितने स्केलीन ट्रायंगल होंगे तो p minus 6 यूज कर लो नंबर ऑफ स्केलीन ट्रायंगल नंबर ऑफ स्केलीन ट्रायंगल्स will be equal to p minus 6 यानी 20 minus 6 कितना हो जाएगा 14 so p minus 6 whole square by 48 का nearest integer nearest integer greatest integer नहीं so this will be 196 by 48 now again if you check this value 48 into 2 is 96 into 2 192 तो ये value कितनी आ जाएगी 4 जो कि यहाँ पे आ रखा है so this you can use directly for your purpose or otherwise you can use this method agar kuch twist hai question me to now next question is similar question but in this case the perimeter is 19 which is odd 19 is odd now again we will try to solve it with a normal method first so if a is greater than equal to b is greater than equal to c then what will be the side length possible now greatest value of A must be less than half of the given perimeter. 19 by 2 is 9.5. So greatest value must be 9. Sum of rest of the two sides must be 10. So 9, 9, 1. 9, 8, 2. 9, 7, 3. 9, 6, 4. 9, 5, 5. Then we can take 8, 8, sum of rest of the two sides will be 11, so 8, 8, 3, 8, 7, 4, 8, 6, 5, or koi possibility nahi hai, last kya bacha, 7, 19 by 3 is 6.67, sorry, 6.33, to usse padi honi chahiye, to 7 hi possible hai, sum of rest of the two sides will be 12, so 7, 7, 5, 7, 6, 6. How many such triangles are possible? 4, 4, 2. Total 10 such triangles are possible. Total 10 such triangles are possible. And out of which? 1 isosceles. Then 
we can say this one is also isosceles. Then again, which one is this one is also isosceles and this one is also isosceles. So a total of four isosceles triangle, rest will be scalene triangle. One, two, three, four and five. Five isosceles triangles. Three to five. So ये total nine हो रहे हैं क्या? Five and five ten. One second. Let me check. One two. Okay, this one I missed. This one is also isosceles. So one two three four five. Five isosceles. Five scalene. Total ten triangles. Now again, दिमाग में ये चल रहा होगा कि अगर perimeter even है, उसके लिए कुछ formula था, तो इसके लिए भी कुछ ना कुछ direct approach होनी चाहिए, है ना? So yes, है. अगर P odd है, if P is odd, then number of triangles will be equal to P plus three whole square upon forty eight का nearest integer. P की value रखो. P is equal to nineteen. तो ये हो जाएगा कितना? Nineteen plus three twenty two square is four eighty four upon forty eight. Clearly दिख रहा है कि nearest integer इसका क्या है? Ten. और अगर इसके लिए निकालनी है तो p माइनस थ्री यूज कर लो सो p माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय फोर्टी एट सो नाइनटीन माइनस थ्री सिक्सटीन स्क्वायर टू फिफ्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय फोर्टी एट इसका नियरेस्ट इंटीजर फोर्टी एट इंटू फाइव इज टू फोर्टी तो ये इसके क्लोज है तो फाइव आ गया आंसर ये आ गया टेन टोटल फाइव आ गया इसके लिए कितना अच्छा फॉर्मूला है ना डायरेक्ट वैल्यू आप निकाल सकते हो और अगर आइसोसेलेस निकालना है तो टेन माइनस जो भी ये वैल्यू आ रही है इक्वलेटरल निकालना है तो वो तो एक ही पॉसिबिलिटी होगी जो कि बहुत ही इजीली निकाल सकते हो ट्रायंगल एबीसी हैज इंटीजर साइड्स एक्स वाई जेड सच दैट एक्स जेड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू साइड हैज बिन गिवेन हाउ मेनी सच ट्राइंगल्स आर पॉसिबल so product of two sides has been given we need to find the third side and that will tell us that how many such triangles are possible so product of two sides is 12 so 12 can be written as 1 into 12 right or we can write it as 2 into 6 or we can write it as 3 into 4 now if we talk about the third side we know that third side of a triangle must be greater than the absolute difference between the two sides and less than the sum of the two sides. So in that case, if two sides are 1 and 12, then the third side y must be greater than the difference which is 11 and less than the sum which is 13. It can only be 11. In second case, 6 minus 2 is 4, 6 plus 2 is 8. So four to, between 4 to 8. It can be 5, 6 and 7. In the third case, the difference is 1. The sum is 7. So in that case, the value y can take will be 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So 1, 3, 4 and 5. A total of 9 such triangles are possible where product of 2 sides is 12 and all the sides are of integral length. Right. So, now after this, one very interesting part that you must have learned from this video, finding number of distinct triangle with integral sides when perimeter is given. So, we all, we have already discussed this, but I have compiled this for you guys to note it down. Whenever perimeter P is given, if P is odd, this is how you can find number of triangles with uh, integral side lengths, number of triangle which are scalene, if P is even, number of triangles with integral side lengths and number of triangles which are scalene, where box X denotes the nearest integer. Remember this, nearest integer. If means if you are getting 9.8, your answer is 10. If you are getting 9.1, then your answer is 9. All right. So. I hope this session was helpful to you guys. Okay, see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.